Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be reading level 212 of the Backrooms. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this. Important announcement from Backrooms Airways. Due to an the outbreak, level 212 will no longer act as the main hub of our, our company. It is advised to introduce level at the side of lives or advice figures and supervisors for the research urgent endeavors and direct infestation. We have formed the research of department to continue monitoring the situation. Backrooms Airways level department head. June 30th, 2021. Hey, that's my 21st birthday. Backroom Zeroes. The flights never end. Hmm. Level 212 is a 213th level of the backrooms. It was formerly the hub level for the backrooms airways based company, and it is as of now defunct. Description resembling Rune Airport level 212 structures infinitely because of its state. Because of its state, it shows no resemblance to its former self, bearing in more similarities to level 1. Level 212 contains rooms commonly found in an airport, including the following. The terminals. The terminals resembling resemble long hallways that branch out into other areas of level two twelve. These areas appear to be ruined, unfinished atriums displaying a moderate amount of wear. The yellow paint pillars are scratched, peeling and rusty from water damage. It's not known how the paint sustained water damage, as level two hundred twelve is completely dry. The floor of the terminals are often covered in debris and dust, consisting of metal pipes, nails, paint buckets, and fallen in life pictures, which seem to be a result of the infestation. Additionally, floors in this section are in cement, lacking tiles that should be there. The ceilings of the terminals have varying levels of water and tear, for foreseen condition to completely decayed. Occasionally, the ceiling may open up to reveal what is presumed to be level 63. With the only light sources being the fixtures and the occasional openings, it's just that the terminals can be very dark at some points. Light fixtures within the terminals are damaged and broken, either due to any attacks or blackouts, and can potentially pose a threat to a water should they fall. Oh. I thought it, I thought it said fail. The terminal was are the areas of two, uh, 12 with the lows of our entities. It's highly advised to be aware of highly devastating creatures which could run home in hunts and packs. Due to this, the back of the airways still exist within this area to guide people who have entered the level. They manage the area by isolating for wanderers to take them to their inner base and keeping them safe. If they're prior to infestation, they would wait for other wanderers to find them, and they would inform them about the level's transportive properties, and would navigate them to the air traffic air control for flight. Baggage Claim Baggage Claim is an area of level 212 that is finite and contains anomalous baggage carousels. The carousels of the baggage claim are damaged and deteriorated, but they continue to function and aid of wanderers and gathering resources. Please ignore the background noise. I don't know what the heck is going on down there. Resources can and be found in luggage that obviously manifests and rotates throughout the carousels. The high ceilings of this section have uh, light fixtures to light in light and openings from cave ends result from the lack of maintenance. Windows in this portion of level 212 have been blocked by debris, limiting light. This debris has either fallen and there are naturally or been moved on purpose in an attempt to prevent enemies from darkening the area so that waters can be in lose their lines of sight. 
being the most populated area uh, due to the uh, uh, to an abundance of resources, this location 212 has a high rate of survivability due to the presence of people. Regardless, enemies will raid and attack the baggage claim in swarms attempting to overcome it. Wanderers have implemented many defense mechanisms, including an alarm system and security armed with various weapons. Considering its useful properties, the backrooms airways obtain to visit this area to resupply their main base in the terminals. Prior to the infestation, weapons would be kept in a secure location and emergency they would use them. Now, weapons are always kept on hand by the members of Backrooms Airways in the event of an entity attack. Consumable supplies such as on water and medicine were always left in basins in the terminals for wanderers to consume freely. Air traffic control is an area of, of level 212 that is an infinite array of towers. The highest floor of said towers were formerly used to control aspects of the level so that flights in and out of level 212 could take off and land successfully. The top floor consists of, contains anomalous controls of an annually altitude fixes, physics of both the level itself and the, the aircraft to monitor everything that happened after takeoff, all before translocation to that said level. All other floors within the tower is contain living accommodations and office workplaces, presumably for those who work with the backrooms airways. Air traffic control is untouched by the infestation and present in other parts, but no longer controls the level. Because of this, the controls are almost entirely redundant. Air traffic control can be accessed through a staff only door in the terminals, acting as a resting point for wanderers. Between each tower of air traffic control, there are runways, hangars, and outside spaces that span long distances. Hangars found around this level are completely empty, except for the occasional broken aircraft found within them. These runaways were used to take off and land at each aircraft. This before the discovery of takeoff six land, thinking even after its discovery, the area was still used for flights. Transportation would work by having the plane go at extremely high speeds, leads to the point where it would seemingly grip the hole into the fabric of the back rooms and enter the new level. Fortunately, this level does have regenerative properties, and each hole quickly gets patched. The plates were not manually operated. In fact, they automatically flew themselves after an indeterminate and amount of time passed while a passenger is on board. The designation of said flight was unique to each plane, usually being written on the plane's hull. The backers airways allowed any water to board a plane if they desired. If water were asked about transportation, they would be shown the planes were allowed to board whichever they desired. Takeoff and landing. Takeoff and landing is an area of level 212 that is the original source of the sudden infestation of the level, and as of now, it is completely overtaken by the um, formerly takeoff and landing was just a resting point for wanderers. Takeoff and landing is a finite building that has windows that show an outside area. The outside area was described as a runway, always in sunlight. Once someone destroyed the wall to make an entrance, something changed about these windows. At the center of the outside of takeoff, on landing, there is a building that entities presumably built and lived in. Entities built a building? Huh. This building and by extension the outside area was never accessible until the infestation. Regardless, it seems to be the source of the entities of level 212. It is generally not advised to enter or approach the outside given the number of entities in the way. Storms and heavy rain are very common in the outside of takeoff and landing, often having mildly corrosive rainfall and extremely conductive and powerful lightning. Usually, it starts up with mildly corrosive drizzle, then climbs as once lightning starts hitting the area. It then all ends instantly. Once lightning starts occurring, an escape from the area is imperative, as this lightning is almost always lethal on contact. Lightning can hit the buildings of takeoff and landing and conduct its electricity into it. Examination of this rainfall has been indeterminate, but the only known information about its aesthetic properties. These events can last from one hour to up to one week. Bases, outposts, and communities. Backrooms Airway is level 212 research department. This is the first level focused base of the Backrooms Airways. This base is used to research the state of level 212 and whether it's safe to inhabit again. I'm busy.
And we're back. Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, right. Backrooms Airways, level 212 research department. This is the first level focus base of the Backrooms Airways. This base is used to research the site of level 212 and order it's safe to inhabit again. Open trading and welcome to new members. Many trades information. Its biggest camp is located in the terminals uh, who help new wanderers. Meg Outpost Ruins. This is another outpost used to maintain in the ruins that are ne level 212. This base is rarely used, as the level 212 research department takes care of most endeavors. Open to trading. Its biggest camp is located in the baggage claim due to the amount of supplies that rotate in that area. BNTG Bandit, Baggage Bandits. This base is a part of the BNTG that is used to take supplies and resources from the baggage claim to take back to Trader's Keep in level 1. This base maintains itself with the resources of the baggage claim. Half of it goes to their main base, and the other half goes to maintaining itself. Open to trading supplies with other wanderers. It's located in the baggage claim, and it is divided into camps. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Find leaflet promoting backrooms airway to enter level 212. That used to be an entrance, but for some reason it is no longer one of the entrances. The terminals are the only entry points. If you fall into an almond into the almond water rivers of level 180, you too it will lead you here. Entering in a hole with a, a, a lepitated sign with a symbol of a plane above it in level 212 will lead you here. You may find an airport in level 11 that will lead you here. Entering a door in the a hub that is marked with an airplane will lead you here. Exits. Take a flight through an aircraft to exit it to a designated level. That used to be the case, but not like anymore. Exiting a door in the terminals will lead you to level 11.3. Leaving off a cliff present in the outer region and of a coffin. Landing will lead you to the Blue Channel. Entry into the Blue Channel can also be achieved by after entering a no clips broken or conspicuously blue door or breaking through a wall or the floor via destructive means. And that was level to 12. If you like this level, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!